Islands, it's, a, it's an island chain, and so the, the islands formed in succession in order, starting with Kauai. So, Kauai, and then Oahu, and then uh, Molokai, and then Maui. And so the way that works is there's a hot spot where, where the lava comes up. The lava comes up and it forms the island. And then the Pacific plate that it's sitting on is slowly moving to the north island. So it would form this island and then it would shift. And then the hot spot would be under this island. It would form this island and then these two would shift. And then it would form the next island and then all that would shift and then it would keep going. All the way until now, where the hot spot is, so the big island here. So this is where the active volcano is now. And now, just south of the big island, there's another volcano that's on the ocean floor right now, out here forming another island that will come up in about 100,000 years. They already have a name for it. It's and so that's how the island is forming. And I'll show you how, how this island was formed. So you had a, a volcano that came up. This is the Waianae volcano, which is on the west side of the island. So that volcano came up first. And then another volcano came up. Right next to it. But close enough that it connected them together. Just so it seems to be a little bigger. And the volcanoes here are these really, I, I've kind of made this into a mound, but really the volcanoes here are what they call shield volcanoes. The lava here is very viscous and so it runs very easily and does, doesn't form those really steep volcanoes like Mount Fuji. They make a very gradual sloping, uh, what they call a shield volcano, about a, about a 30 degree slope. It kind of looks like a Roman shield, how it has just a, a little bit of a bow to it. <laughs> Volcano. And so that was the Waianae volcano and the Ko'olau volcano, and they kind of connected in the middle and made that that valley there where, um, like where the, the little pineapple plantation is up there. They so got a lot of good farmland there. So now you got the two volcanoes, but then what happened was this volcano split down the middle and then fell into the ocean. So about here, like that. And so now you can see the, uh, the maps of the ocean seafloor where you can see all that debris spread for like a hundred miles to the northeast. It was a huge avalanche. It would have caused a huge tsunami too. And so then about a million years worth of rain and erosion on the island has carved all this away. This is the windward side of the island over here where the, the wind comes off of the ocean and gathered all this moisture and it hits the land here and it goes up at about 2,000 feet and that causes the, the moisture in the air to condense into clouds. And so you get the clouds all along the tops of the mountains here and then it rains. And so this is the really rainy side of the island. By the time the wind gets over here, it's out of rain. So this is the dry side of the island. So over here it rains and it's eroded the mountain back like this. And now you've got these really steep cliffs and all that's eroded away. And so this is the windward side of the island, which is the mountains that we see here. It's all, all that way there. And then here in the middle, you've got where the water runs down. Here you've got Pearl Harbor here, and then the Haleiwa Harbor over here. This side here, before this volcano came up, you got some erosion on this side and, and this side too. but. So that's, that's the island of, of Oahu there. And then after forming this volcano and that volcano, it went on to form Molokai, Maui, and the Big Island. And then for some reason, some lava came back over to this island and came up through some cracks. And it formed uh, those little craters that you see that look like volcanoes, like Diamond Head Crater over here. 
and uh, Punchbowl Crater and Red Hill and uh, Coco Crater and uh, Coco Head, which is Hanama Bay, and Pa'al Crater, which is up here in the mountain, and Kaimuki and Pu'u Ohia. They're kind of all in, all in a line right there along the rim zone. So all those little craters that you see, like Diamond Head and, and Punch Bowl and Coco Crater, those are actually what they call top cones. They're not like real volcanoes. The volcano is the two big parts that form the island. And so that's how the island is. Hawaii and the island of Oahu.